and welcome back to another edition of Pop It. Ooh, it is almost spring, and we are here to sprung some facts onto you. But before we begin, joining me in the call is my co-star, my co-director, Miss Emily Terry from the Two Weeks Notice video. If you've not seen the video, I need you to cue that up yes. right now. It is so good. It is a top three all-time music video. Uh, Emily, what were your thoughts when you watched back our performance? Oh my I mean, God, I loved it. Loved it. Um, I was, I, I had a great time watching it. I had a great time like creating that with you. Um, I love what you did, you know, when you put together those scenes. Um, and I love what it says about this moment. And also everybody go and um, check out what you have to say about Walmart because, you know, they need to be held accountable for mm -hmm. wage yeah. theft. And There's a lot of things. people on my uh, <laughs> crap list and we'll get to some of them tonight. That is for sure. So uh, <laughs> joining me, yes, Miss Terry is joining me, but also yeah. she is the flyest woman that I know in Philadelphia. <laughs> Jessica Lockhart <laughs> looking like a billion dollars tonight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You look like the entire Fenty company right now. I'm in love. I love it. And then, of course, uh, one of my A1, it is Alexa Jones on the chat. Alexa, with the flag in the background and the plant, we are serving multiple personalities tonight. I'm loving it. <laughs> All right. Let's dive into it. And you guys, we got to start with this one. I know this happened like a month ago. We haven't had a pop it in a minute. And I have to talk about this. Because Eminem has decided the green Eminem will no longer be sexy. They are trying to, they want to be inclusive, which I guess in their terms means promiscuity is not inclusive. Uh, let's start with <laughs> Jess, because if there's anyone on this chat who is the green Eminem, it is Jess. Uh, Jess, <laughs> I'm really coming for people today. I'm in a mood. <laughs> Jess, you're 30 seconds. What do you think of this whole green Eminem debacle? One, I love that the internet has something to say and we're going to miss those tall white boots. I'm just kind of curious to why um, they gave the new green M&M, the Larry David shoes, <laughs> those tennis shoes. I'm not sure. Is it just because the Air Force Ones are trending? I'm not sure what they're trying to go for. Also, why does the brown M&M get to keep her pumps? Like, so it's just makes no sense also mm. i know she shortened her lashes like mm -hmm. i just think now that's maybe your time she... that's your time no! i'm sorry no! <laughs> i gave you extra time i gave you like 34 oh. seconds girl i was no, like no i noticed the it... lashes too uh <clears throat> alexa let's cut over to you the green m, &M. she's lost the lashes she's lost the boots what are we thinking about this i know i know i mean i know that she's wearing sneakers I feel like it is kind of a look and people who, you know, wear sneakers needed to see themselves represented. So like, <laughs> I guess I get it. Um, and I do just feel like I need to point out like Tucker Carlson would absolutely still smash that green M&M. He is yeah. lying if he says otherwise because she's still a baddie. Oh my God. That is phenomenal. Emily, uh, what about you? What are your thoughts on this whole desexifying the green M&M? <laughs> First of all, that's a great point. She definitely is still sexy, but I think that their messaging was, or I felt that they were trying to say like that you, that being a slut is not like inclusive or something like that. Or it, I don't know. It just felt like slut erasure. I don't appreciate that. Slut's got a place mm -hmm. in a, a box of candy and in other places. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I just like, it's uh, not helpful. You know, if you want to do something for like, you know, moving us towards a place where we're equal. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, how much do the people at your company make? Mars company. Like, mm -hmm. how much do the people who are boxing this m and make? Mm -hmm. Like, let me see those, let me see those figures. I don't need to see the rest of her legs under those boots. Those are not the figures I want to see. And- <laughs> That's um, your time. That's your time. I, <laughs> you were getting there. You, the soapbox was ready. Let me tell you. Oh, it was. You yeah. know what I want? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying they could cancel student loans and not sexy boots. But. Oh, mm, put that on a t-shirt. There it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so let's start from the top. The green M&M is, quote, sexy, but no one found her to be sexy. No one was, like, jacking off in bed to the green M&M. No one was like, I really want to get in that chakusi, right? And that was not happening, right? It, the idea was... For yourself, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> 
sorry, Jess Lockhart on record was really into the Doreen Eminem section, but like it was comedic, right? You know, like it was like she's sexy. That was her personality, and it, and she was like she was like the Blanche Devereaux of the M and M's. And now mm. I don't thank you for the metaphor, but now it's like oh, we're trying to be cool with it. We're gonna give her the sneaker representation. Um, I don't like it. I'm sorry. Like, let her have boots. Let let her do her. I feel like I don't know. I don't love the idea of like washing the character out um, to be quote inclusive. And guess what? The end of the day, Mars Company. I know you're being sued for labor rights and child labor, so you are not going to distract me from that scandalous tea because I see you. I got my eyes peeled. You want me to think about the green M M&M? and M? No, I see your child labor issues. So <laughs> that's what I gotta say. But. Uh, Oh my goodness! I do want to go. I think I'm going to dress up as the green M&M for Halloween, though. Wouldn't that be hilarious? (laughs) We all should. (laughs) Oh my God! Let's all go as green M&Ms. Yes. Oh my God! Like carry like a a flail of like sex toys or something. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Speaking of uh, some more uh, childhood cartoons, the series finale of Arthur. It dropped and it fast forwards and we see the whole gang of Arthur. We all know Arthur. We all watched Arthur. And it has Muffy as the new mayor. It has Arthur's sister, D.W., the tattletale as the cop. Uh, Was this a little too on the nose? Was there some uh, awareness or lack of awareness? What do we think? Emily, we're going to start with you. (laughs) Um... I think, yeah, they they got it. They hit it right where we needed them to hit it. We all knew she was a narc and a narc's going to do what a narc is going to do. Um, I think I remember DW getting, maybe I'm just making this up, but I thought she got really bad test scores at one point too. Like they would have showed us like DW's homework or something like that. And I, I'm not surprised that she was pointed in one direction. Um but, you know, I was I was actually more interested in what the other characters grew up to be because, yeah, of course, D.W. is a cop, but we were missing. D.W., please. Um, Buster's a school teacher. That was very cute. I was always interested in seeing what he was up to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's your time. Yeah, I just I like how he would fly around. I just like how casual you were. Like, he's like our old high school friend. It's like, you guys there's a high school teacher like so cash i love it francine runs a sneaker company so she's probably dressing the m&m yeah (laughs) (laughs) she was a shoe consultant for the uh, green m&m oh my god that is i gotta (laughs) wait let me make sure i get you that extra point that was good uh alexa what about you what do we think about the uh series finale of arthur I mean, I watched the whole episode. I thought it was really, really cute. And I also forgot like how good that show is at like explaining emotions and breaking stuff down for kids. I was like really getting my nostalgia for the day. Um, I do want to say though, I did clock that in the middle section where they like flash back to like the kids who, you know, do different things for the show. They were doing personality traits and they said that DW was a troublemaker, sneaky, and also super bossy. And again, like we all said, are we surprised she's a cop? No, no, we're not. Yeah. Oh my God. Say. Look at you in that detective work over there. I like that. You were looking for the facts. Yes. Uh, Jess, what about you? Um, you know, I, what do you think about this? I was gonna, I was trying to make a Jess comparison, but I couldn't think of one because like you're not a cop. I don't know what to say. Uh, Jess, you've ar- you've put people in handcuffs before. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, Jess. What, what do you think, of Arthur? What do we think? Oh, oh my God. woo! Um, you guys are all the funny people today. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Arthur, I'm not surprised he's a writer. I can't wait to see what he writes up. Um, the DW thing, I was just kind of surprised they kind of put her in like a narc role. Like, I think she could have just been like a baddie or like a head of a company, like bossing people around. Mm. But instead, they literally, it seems like the writers had an experience once or twice with a cop. And they're like, you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> DW. Uh, and I love that Buster's a teacher. I always saw him as more of maybe like somebody who makes a ton of fun inventions. Um, but Muffy being a mayor, I thought she was always trying oh, yeah. to either smash Arthur or trying to like smash, um, what's uh, Francine? Like one Ooh. of those two. I wasn't sure how it's going to go. So I'm excited to see what happens in that's, the little town. <laughs> that's your time. 
Um, my reaction, first of all, I thought it was weird that the rich girl was becoming mayor. I was like, was that like a statement on like how people who are rich or celebrities become politicians? And like, I, I, maybe I'm reading too much into it as the sociologist, but I, to me, I was like, that really was like, I, mm." um, and I had to talk to Francine's hair, um, was screaming that she has a partner at home. Is that just me? That I feel like that was the nod they were trying to kind of get into. If you look at the hair, it's very. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to label or judge Francine. Like you have your sneakers, girl. But um, I think she. Uh, her favorite kind of sneaker is a nice boot. That's what. That's the impression I'm getting from that hair. So, um, DW is a cop, though. I mean, I feel like the show was pointing to that for a while. I mean, you guys all summed it up. So. Uh, meanwhile, exclusive Wendy Williams show is going to be canceled and the Sherry Shepard show is premiering this fall. You know, is this a good decision? Is this maybe a good movement? Um, are you interested in the Sherry Shepard show? Uh, who we'll go back to Jess on this. So I didn't have to, um, she's a familiar face. So I think it's a great pick. Um, she's put in her work and time being a, a stand up comedian. She's been on friends. Um, so only thing is what I really liked about the article was it went in about Wendy Williams how apparently she you know she got sick and she was like snapping at everybody at work and I was like of course that's how she's gonna go out when did she ever stop calling people out on their bullshit mm-hmm. so I just hope Sherry Shepard can keep that same energy I'm sure it's gonna be a fun show and I'm excited to see um what she does with it mm-hmm. and I hope she can still bring that same energy as Wendy though Mm -hmm. Uh, that I love that Wendy was on the air Mm -hmm. and she was untrained and she would always come out and tell it like it is. And Mm -hmm. she wasn't afraid to call people like Mm -hmm. Khloe Kardashian on her Mm -hmm. show and just tell her out. Like we all, that's your time. That's your time. (laughs) Uh, Alexa, what about you uh, with the Sherry Shepard show coming? What what are our thoughts on this whole thing? Yeah. I mean, I was never really into like the Wendy Williams show too much, but I do understand what an icon she is. Mm -hmm. Like she's done everything starting in like radio books, Mm -hmm. fashion, TV, like she's done it all. So it's sad to see her show come to an end, especially when it's not necessarily on her terms. Mm -hmm. Um, But I do hope, you know, Sherry Shepard is able to like, like Jess was saying, keep that same energy and Mm -hmm. you know, really do, do her proud. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Emily, what about you? What are your thoughts on uh, the Wendy Williams show becoming the Sherry Shepard show? Oh, yeah. Well, I was definitely, you know, sad to see Wendy Williams go. I mean, I kind of got the feeling that she wasn't coming back when they continued to have like guest hosts because I do be watching Wendy Williams sometimes (laughs) when I catch something that interests me, you know, they break Mm. it up into little clips I want to see. But um, no, you know, like like everyone's been saying, I mean, Wendy is such an icon and hopefully, you know, if it's true that she's been unpleasant on set, maybe Mm. she's moving on to a better opportunity because she deserves it. Um, But if she is stepping away from work because her health, you know, her health demands that I think that's the best choice to make. I am glad that she's being replaced by another black woman. I think that that spot should Mm. only the purple chair should only be filled (laughs) by a black woman. Mm. Um, And yeah, I kind of look forward to seeing what Sherry Shepard has to offer. I didn't really like that it was Sherry Shepard specifically. She's Mm -hmm. not, doesn't do much for me the way Wendy Williams did. Mm -hmm. I love a mess and (laughs) Sherry ain't messy the way Wendy is. So that's your time. Uh, I got to agree with you, Emily. You know, Wendy's complicated character to me, you know, sometimes I'm like, girl like what but sometimes you know there was a great clip of her with like one of the housewives and wendy goes there's rumors that someone's gonna retire i think it should be you and like who else on daytime tv on even like the late night shows would have said that you know even like you know some late night you know white guy like jimmy fallon would be like (laughs) is it you who's gonna retire (laughs) right right for her to go in or like the time when she uh you know jamie uh britney's dad jamie lynn when she says death to them all like that was iconic i mean there is something about her that you know you got to admit she she knows how to be whether it's naturally or trained magnetic so unfortunately it looks like the health reasons but uh hopefully she gets better and yeah i'm curious to see what she'll do down the line uh that's for sure Oh, uh, this next one. I don't know where to start. Uh, Well, we all know that Kim and Pete Davidson are getting it on. Kanye took to social media to let us know how he feels about Pete threatening Pete Davidson, telling everybody that Kim is like not allowing him to see the kids, posting the messages and then retracting the messages and 
And Kim's now saying, I don't want Kanye. You know, I don't want to deal with him outside of co-parenting. It is. I mean, there are so many elements of the story. What are your overall impressions? What's something that you noticed? Um, or maybe you don't care at all. We'll go back to Emily on this. Yeah. So I've been a little bit like, you know, it's funny to listen to <clears throat> Kardashian, you know, gossip, but at the same time, it's like, I, I feel a little bit weird, you know, consuming anything about them because if Kanye really is suffering from bipolar disorder, like mm -hmm. should his episodes be whatever, you know, tweeted about televised reported on, you know, mm -hmm. he's got obviously a family who is affected by this. Mm -hmm. And I, it makes me think, you know, what, mm -hmm. Um, what are we entitled to, you know, as consumers of celebrity content, mm. but, um, yeah, I, I are, is Pete Davidson are in Kim, dating Kim because he said, I hang out with my girlfriend. So I need to know. Yeah, I don't know. That's a great question. I don't know if it's still it's just, like unconfirmed, confirmed. It's very like everything you yeah. learn about the situation just leads to more questions mm. rather than, you know, less. Absolutely. Alexa, what's your take? What, what's something that you uh, kind of took from this? Yeah, I do agree with what Emily said. Um, but I also feel like he's doing too much on the internet. I'm tired of seeing it. No more, please. Enough, Kanye. Keep it at home. Stop tweeting. Please stop. Um, but I will say, I thought it was hilarious when he had like that song. I don't even know what song it was, but he was rapping about Pete Davidson and he said God save me from the crash just so I could beat Pete Davidson's ass ah! that is so hilarious and I love that <laughs> so like keep doing that but like mm -hmm. enough with everything mm -hmm. else <laughs> Jess what about you uh, what, this whole debacle what's your take well Kanye is reported has reportedly hired a whole media team just to get under Kim's skin so <laughs> that's like the level of divorce pettiness I think we all wish to aspire to <laughs> but at the same time it's at this point it's it's just sad because he's just trying every dig to get mm -hmm. back and it's like whatever happened with the fall of their marriage mm -hmm. unfortunately I feel like we'll never know I'm still waiting for Hulu to drop the new keeping up with the Kardashians <laughs> so I can yeah. know what's going on <laughs> But also the, it's just, he's having fake relationships left and right, mm -hmm. entertaining though. But uh, I really hope Pete Davidson and Kim is actually a thing, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a fake relationship because mm -hmm. I know they all agree and sign contracts and make mm -hmm. stuff work. I'm loving the content yeah. and Kanye getting so worked up. That's your time. <laughs> That's your time. Sorry. Oh, I, want, I could listen to you all day, girl. Um, my <laughs> first thought, I had, I was thinking the children, man. I'm thinking of, you know, North, especially who's like, she's like That'd 10, eight. Well, she's you a millionaire. Know. Well, <laughs> what I like how like she has money. It doesn't matter. She can pay for that therapy. No, like, I mean, North is Kanye. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like, you know, how many times have we seen, you know, people who grew up in these kind of families or these situations of like divorce and like, it's tough. And I, I'm just, I really, and part of me is wondering, you know, if Kanye's whole thing, because he was seen today with the fake Kim Kardashian, right? There was the, the photos of him with like the, the Kim, the Ikea Kim Kardashian. Um, and it's just kind of like, like, are you trying to get Kim back? Because if you are, you are doing the wrong things. Like if you're trying to get someone back, it's like roses. I'm going to take you to Olive Garden. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put <laughs> rose petals on the bed. It's not going to Instagram threatening their new boo. It is not dating someone who looks like them. And don't even get me started on the whole Julia Fox element. What's her name with the, the, with the goblin mode Julia Fox? I can't hand. No, no, no. That's not what you do. That's not what you do to get someone back. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm sending thoughts, thoughts and prayers, um, which I know how ridiculous that sounds because it's like, you know, it's not, it's not a, it's not a gun control issue. You know, thoughts and prayers, how we say in America. It might be for everybody. Yeah, yeah, for everybody. <laughs> you never know. Kanye is ready to escalate by any means necessary. He will get, get her attention. <laughs> All right. This is a pop at first. We have a random 30 seconds or less. It's what pop culture it's what's going on. It could be anything. Um, who did we leave off on? We left off on Jessica. So Jessica, you go first. What's your random 30? Tell us something. What's going on? Oh, I did not know that's what random 30 means. Um, oh my God. 
Why'd you start with me? Okay, we'll move on. Alexa, we'll go Alexa first because I, I assume random 30 is pretty like, it's like whatever you want for 30 seconds. But you know, that's on me. That's on me. Alexa, do you have a random 30 to share with us? I do. I, ha- I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide. I was torn between talking about Avril Lavigne's new album and also um, Marjorie Taylor Greene going to a white nationalist rally. So it's like, how do you think? <laughs> Yeah, but um, Avril Lavigne's album, <laughs> it's really, <laughs> it's good. I thought it was good. There are some like songs on there that with like MGK that I was not really feeling, oh. but it was very much giving me like 2000s, back in my bedroom, living my Avril Lavigne fantasy. <laughs> Avril will always do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She automatically gets a listen because of what she did for us absolutely all those years ago all the things that avril Levine did for the sneaker community i mean really just <laughs> brought so many people out of the, the sneaker closet uh, yeah. emily what's your 30 what's going on yeah so i had a couple more things to say about the kardashians you brought oh. up her kanye's lookalike and um i saw on the internet that people are calling her you know that that fashion company sheen that makes all the knockoffs of like whatever celebrities are wearing <laughs> they're calling her kardashian instead of Kardashian. I thought that was very funny. Mm. Um, Also, when I think about Kanye just tweeting anything and everything at Kim and the rest of the world, just like tagging us in that group chat. I think about how Kim is literally like, can you imagine somebody is tweeting shit about you right across the street from you? He's (laughs) in that house right across the street. He's right there. You see him with his phone, you in the window. Like looking through the blinds, like yeah yeah, oh yeah. so that blows my mind but yeah. i wanted to talk about kylie jenner's new baby and that name and i just want oh. to share my conspiracy before it actually happens um first of all i don't think the kardashian kids are going to have a hard time in life i think they are very mm. carefully trained they know how it all works already they know things we don't right about everything probably i mean mm-hmm. north has seen the inside of private jets more than I've seen the inside of regular jets <laughs> at this point. <laughs> more, than I've sat in, more than I've sat in coach. Um, so there's <laughs> that. But also, I mean, Kylie is naming her kids. First one is Stormy. Next one is Wolf. And I wonder if he has a middle name, whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't like either of those names. But I do think that their next plan is probably some kind of X-Men situation. Mm-hmm. Like some kind of like mm. Avengers team or I mean they have so many there's even more second generation or whatever Kardashians mm. than there are the first so mm-hmm. I'm with you on this I'm yeah I, yeah, I want to see what <laughs> they can do you know yeah just so you know we're a minute over your 30 but I really wanted to hear the conspiracy so I, I let you roll I I had to cut off the one. points the points ended at 30 but I really want to hear that that's an interesting conspiracy uh, Jess, <laughs> you have a random 30 for us. Um, when are we getting a four day work week and then a three day work week and yes. then a two day work week? That's where I'm headed for. Um, I just, that's when are we doing that? Because yeah. then we could spend more money because we're not working mm-hmm. and boost the economy. And then maybe. They can pay off our student loans because we're spending so much money on so many more fun things. <laughs> and then maybe people will start having babies again. I don't know. Call me crazy. But <laughs> but hey, I like that. To do the same shit I would normally do yeah. on a weekend. <laughs> yeah. I got uh, yeah. just I just got two things. Florence the Machine dropped new music. Mm, I'm feeling like a witch right now. Yeah. And um, I'd like to say fuck Putin. Uh, and I, I hope he collapses just like the russian economy is collapsing and uh i know it's hard for us you know we're in america we're in the midwest just kind of jay chilling what can we do for ukraine but i think it's important that everyone out there is being vocal right and you know trying to do whatever they can even the little things just putting that pressure on as you know we hopefully uh free free ukraine from and by the way i would like to make this clear too i've had i won't even call them friends because they're not friends to me people who've been like putin's not that bad and like we should be besties with russia and for years for years because i know my history i know my history i said "Mm -mm." i was like we can have friendly relate we could be like hi like how are you okay goodbye we are not going to be best friends because look at where they are trying to be all Mm -hmm. soviet again well guess what happened last time girl 
it didn't work out. And I don't want to hear, while we're at it, by the way, real quick, people are talking about, oh, well, Russia, when they were Soviets, communism, it was never communism. That's not what, that, that's not what happened. Read a history book. Oh, my God, I'm getting worked up. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Anywho. It was so fun tonight. You guys, I, I love hanging out with you. Like, we don't even have to play Pop It. I just love seeing you guys. Um, <laughs> another close game as always. Let's check out the, let's check out the scoreboard. Alexo 28, Jesco 27, and Emily 29. Oh, Emily. Oh. You had an edge with that Arthur <laughs> take you took. Oh, it was so good. So, um, yeah, I mean, you definitely went over the time a little bit, but you know, <laughs> good stuff. It was some good stuff. So, yeah. <sighs> well, are you going to put in your two weeks notice? Cause you won. So like, you just like, I would love to imagine if I was like, yeah, I won on a game show. I'm not coming back in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won on my friend's game, game show that gets like 20 views. We're out of here. <laughs> oh my God. I'm making it big. Watch out. Watch out. Um, Screw I just you. coming in with like celebrity glasses and like no. a long coat. Oh. Like, yeah. Oh. Um, oh, chef's kiss. With like nails out I'm, of here. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't type. Like, mm-hmm. Not the Sorry. two week notice. Like, I'm totally ready to seize the means of production. And I'm ready to do it maybe violently. I don't know. about you? Know. That could be the next be album. Seized. I mean, literally just snatching. Huh? Yeah. That could be the next album. Seize the means of production with like the Ooh. lead single, like. I'm snapped. I'm I snapped. I'm <laughs> give me the means, girl. Give me the means. Oh my gosh. Um, you guys, this was fantastic. Uh, thanks for watching Pop It. And oh man, we gotta play more Pop It. We've we've been we've been slacking, so we're gonna play some more Pop It pretty soon. And uh, peace out. XO.